How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Momentum Monday. I'm Steve Holbrook, and I'm super fired up to be here today. Uh, I have a message today that I want to share with you. It's been on my mind for a couple weeks, and I'm glad that I get to get it out here today. But what I want to talk about today is the power of your story. The power of your story. At the end of the day, your story is all you have. My story is all I have. You know, some people might be going business to business. You might go relationship to relationship. You might even go from health plan to health plan. Not sure if anybody started a health plan before and then quit and then started a new health plan. I know I have before, but I'll tell you what, our story is the one thing that's always there. It's always evolving, it's always growing, and your ability to tell it is essential if you want to empower people, if you want to inspire people, if you want to be able to relate to other people. Everybody always loves a great storyteller. Just think back in your life. Maybe it was your dad, your grandfather, maybe it was your great-great-grandma, whoever it was. There, there, there's typically a great storyteller in your family line and everybody always loves to kind of just get around the storyteller because the way you tell the story is what draws people in. And you know, I realized this about 13 years ago. I was doing a presentation at our company in our office and I was talking about kind of a bunch of things, very tangible, very lower law things. And after the presentation, one of my senior partners, he pulled me in his office. He said, hey, Steve, he said, how come you never talk about the challenges that you've had growing up as a kid on the health side? And I said, well, you know, I just, I don't really want people to see that side. I mean, he says, why not? He says, right now, the only side of you people see is you're a 23 year old. You're making $100,000 a year, your first year in business. You seem unstoppable and people can relate to that. You know what people can relate to, Steve? Your battle with Crohn's disease. The fact that you battled your whole life growing up. People can relate to that. And he said, until you can really get good at telling that part of your story, you'll never truly be a successful entrepreneur. And I thought, you know what? This is probably something that I should get good at. And it was in that moment that I realized that, you know what, the next time that someone asked me what I do, or next time someone said, hey, what are you up to? Uh, it's important that, that I find a way to really get good at telling a compelling part of my story. And I wanna challenge you to do the same. Next time someone says, hey, what are you up to? What's new? What you should be talking about is talk about your recent health journey. Talk about your new growing business or something in your life that's exciting, something in your life that's growing. Maybe you're reading a new book. Maybe you're on a personal development campaign. You know, also by telling people about your journey, you know what it does? It allows them to hold you accountable. By you speaking it out loud, there's some accountability there. And I don't really wanna get into that today. I wish I had three hours to talk about accountability. I think maybe one day we'll do an episode on accountability but it's super important. So if someone says, hey Steve, what's new man? Long time no chat, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, hey, you know what? I'm glad you asked. The kids are growing up like weeds. You know, my wife, Melissa, she's doing fantastic. Uh, you know, she's got a bunch of new things on the go, but I've actually embarked on a new personal growth journey. You know, I started reading some good books. I started working out again. I'm down nine pounds. I've started changing my eating habits. And you know what? I'm super excited about my life. I'm super excited about my life. Or you know what? Maybe I'm going through some health challenges and I never thought I'd be in the, this position, but I'm prepared to get through it. You know, I'm fired up to get through it. You know, in my experience coaching entrepreneurs and, and, and not just entrepreneurs, but employees, in my experience, there's five reasons that people don't want to tell their story. And I want you to write these down because these are important. Number one is I don't want sympathy. That's the number one reason why people don't tell it. I don't want sympathy. You know what? You don't need to tell it in a way where you're trying to get sympathy. If anything, your job is to make people empathize with you. You don't need to give all the nitty gritty details. You can tell your story in a way where you're not acting like a victim. You can always tie in a positive message. For example, I mean my story, I could say something like, look, you know what? I got into business at 23 years old. I had a great first three years. My business was growing. I was making more money than I, than I ever imagined that I was making. Obviously, we have the best, best business in the world, um, so that's definitely possible here. Uh, but then life happened. In 2009, January, my surgeon told me that, Steve, we have to take out your rectum. We have to take out your colon. We have to take out part of your small intestine. And you know what? 
I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it. I had one of the, one of the most difficult years of my life, but I'll tell you what, it could have been worse. And I'm so grateful that I got through it. And I learned so much about myself at rock bottom. And without that period of time, I wouldn't be the man that I am today. See, you can always tie in a positive message. You don't have to tell your story in a way that makes you sound like a victim or you're trying to gain sympathy. So you have to get over that part of your story. The second reason people don't tell their story is they say, well, I haven't been through enough. You know what? We've all been through enough, haven't we? Like, what more do you want to go through? How much more pain do you want to do you want to have to go through in life? Because let's be honest, sometimes life is painful, and sometimes life is hard, and sometimes life knocks you down. I think you've already been through enough. But let's just assume for a second that you know what you say. You know what? My whole life's been easy. I've never had to work for anything. I've been healthy. Everything's been handed to me. You know what? Tell that part of your story. Make that part of your story. Say, hey, you know what? My whole life, I've never had to work for anything. Things have always come easy to me. And then I woke up one day and I was tired of being average. And I said, you know what? I've been operating inside of my comfort zone for 25 years, for 35 years. And I decided to embark on a new journey. I decided to get uncomfortable. I decided to change some things about who I was. So we've all either been through enough. And if you feel like you haven't been through enough, Make that part of your story. I mean, your story starts with you getting uncomfortable, which is, which is powerful and it's compelling. The third reason that I see people that, you know, the people that don't want to talk about their story, here's the third reason. They say, oh, I'll tell my story when I become successful. You know, all successful people will tell you that it's all about the journey. I'll tell you that. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. So why not inspire people along the way? Why not inspire people along the way? Like I mentioned before, you know, you should always be talking about where you're going. The best stories are like the best movies and they should end with where you're headed. So you know what? I mean, if you're sitting there thinking, well, I'm going to wait till I become successful, tell my story. You're not thinking big enough because as you're going along your journey, there's a whole bunch of people that, that they would love to follow that journey and love to follow the progress. If you're waiting to become successful, I mean, what does success even mean? Are you waiting on a certain net worth? Are you waiting for all your problems to go away? Start inspiring now. Start telling your story now. And just like the best movies, there's going to be ups, there's going to be downs, and you get to control the script. So you get to decide how this thing ends. And you get to write your own script. Hey, here's where we were. Here's where we've been. We had some challenges. We hit rock bottom in 2009. But let me tell you where we're going. Man, we got healthy. We made some big decisions. And I'm going to live the rest of my life on purpose, with intention. You know, I'm going to keep my habits up. I mean, all the, I mean, inspire people. That inspires people. The fourth reason that people don't want to tell their story is they say, I don't think that people can relate to me. I don't think that people can relate to me. Relate to what? Of course they can relate to you. Relate to what? Being scared? Being fearful? Having setbacks in life? Being sick and tired of being sick and tired? Right? I mean, when I started in business, you know, part of my story that's the most relatable is, hey, look, I was tired of making 11 bucks an hour. I was tired of being passed up for promotions. I was tired of being in a negative environment. I was tired of fighting for 25 cent raises. And I was tired of being made to feel the way I felt. I was tired of it. And when you tell that part of your story, you guys, you become vulnerable. And when you're vulnerable, it shows sincerity. Here's what you have to realize. 100% of your story is relatable to different people. This piece of your story is relatable to that person. This piece of your story is relatable to that person. So it's important that you understand that. Do you think it was easy for me to tell the part of my story where in 2009 I had my rectum taken out? my colon taken out. Those are not fun things to talk about. People don't want to talk about those things. The fact that I had an ostomy bag, man, it's just, I was embarrassed. But you know what? That's the part of my story that became the most relatable. The more vulnerable, the more real, and the less I did it for sympathy, and the more I just did it to just to be able to relate to people and say, hey, look, you know, the person that you see today, right, making almost a million dollars a year, this isn't the guy that, you know, that, that, that I wasn't like this the whole way. I didn't start like this. I had some success. 
I hit rock bottom, I got back on the horse, I found some mentors, and here's where I am today, but better yet, here's where we're going. And that's important to understand. And the fifth reason I see that people don't tell their story is they just don't practice it. They just don't practice it. You are your story. Your story is you. It's the trailer of your life. And you're the director. And it's either going to be a winner or it's going to be a loser. And if you can't tell your story, how is the world or even how is anybody else ever going to hear it? And if you're sitting here watching this going, well, I don't want anybody else to hear my story. That's the same as saying, you know what? I don't really want to help people. I don't really want to inspire people. I, I really just don't really want to make this world a better place. And you know what? I'll tell you right now that my messages aren't for you, right? This channel's not for you. I'm not your guy. If that's how you think, I'm not your guy because I'm all about helping people. I'm all about empowering people. I'm all, I'm all about inspiring other people, helping other people reach peak performance. That's what I live for. And I think if more of us could have that mentality, man, we could really start to make the world a better place. I'm not perfect, but you're not perfect either. But I'll tell you what, if we all got good at telling our story, what it would do, it, was that it would help more people move off the starting block. More people start to move towards greatness. So master it. Master your story and always be rewriting it. Always be updating it. Always be, always be typing it out and then retyping it out and, 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 and timing it and, and getting good at telling it. Because I'll tell you what, if you get good at telling your story, you're going to want to tell your story more. And that's what's going to make you attractive in business is your ability to tell your story. And you might just get asked to tell your story on stage one day, maybe in front of 10 people, maybe in front of 30 people, or, or maybe like me, 30,000 people, main stage, Las Vegas, all eyes on you. And that's a trip. I hope one day you can get there. So I hope you guys got some value out of it. Just a quick episode today. I want to let you know that I'm doing Momentum Mondays every single Monday, 4 p.m. Mountain Time. If you want to help me out, here's what I'd love for you to do. I'd love for you to go to my Facebook page. Please share and comment on my last Facebook post. You can also go to IGTV, okay? All my posts. All my, all my posts are posted on IGTV every single week, all the old episodes. Go on there, watch them again, comment. You can find me on YouTube. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, if you like my videos. And then, of course, you go to my website, sholbrook.com, read my content, share it. Uh, just help me get the word out there. I love you guys, and I love doing this stuff, and I love helping people get to peak performance. Uh, it's something that I found, uh, you know, in my heart that I'm passionate about. It's something that I'm dedicated to. It's something that I'm, I'm going to continue to do. But I can only spread the word with your guys' help. So uh, please go to my Facebook page, YouTube, Instagram, share this stuff, comment, get the word out there. And I promise you I'll keep bringing content. So we'll see you guys later.